And welcome to Let's Play Ridge Racer Revolution Part 2. Let's go to our second race of the game, the intermediate course. This is where things are probably going to get a little more difficult for me. And I'm going to opt to use... Uh... This thing has a lot of ha good handling, but not very much in the grip side. Let's go with this. And this is a Type R model, as opposed to Type S and the Easy, so higher speed. And off we go. Hey, loading screen. Alright. Don't really see that very often. Usually the shit loads almost immediately, but no. Had to, uh, had to think about it for a moment there. Yeah, I think this disc is a little, uh, worn out that I'm using, because, uh, Couple times trying to load the game to beat that uh, thing on the uh, loading screen, I guess. The main loading screen is because uh, it took me quite a few tries. But uh, a lot of those tries I actually uh, got 39 hits, uh, just one short of getting perfect, so that was really infuriating, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it's actually my PlayStation actually. Uh, read like the disc content as far as like the soundtrack because yeah but it didn't load the actual like read the actual game content because it took me to the freaking music player when it read the disc a couple times so I'm driving like absolute shit I'm don't really know these tracks very well so yeah this is gonna be kind of a difficult game for me that's a lot of cars and one little fucking area. That's a very tight turn. To the answer just say great turn, because that was anything but. Shit, hit the wall again. That's kind of a difficult little chicane there. And my rival's right on my ass. So bouncing off the wall again. <laughs> Nothing different from the first game. Yeah. Alright, well, I well, made it up to 6th place after one lap, so I'm not doing too bad. Yeah, I kept it off the wall there. And just like in the first game, we have the uh, time lapse in these races. So, started in day, went to dusk, and now it's full night. Oh, hey, I actually drifted this car and straight into the wall as well. Lovely. Eh, nope. Should have drifted there. Fuck me. Or should have attempted to drift there, I should say. So I probably wouldn't have caught the drift, considering I don't fucking know. Anyways. Yep. Made it. So I'd like to point out how the first game didn't have any way of seeing behind you. This game, on the bumper cam at least, has a rear view mirror with the Namco. A Namco watermark on it, so that's pretty cool. Of course, this video you don't get it, because fuck you, that's why. Here we go, looks like there's top two directly in front of me, so. And back to morning. I love how just quickly time lap uh, lapses in this, or yeah. How quickly time goes in this game, in these games, because it's like, oh, we've been racing for a full day, lol. Oh, shit. Road narrowed up a bit there. Smack, smack. I'm still absolutely horrible at this game, this series. Oh, got a drift and straight into the wall. Drifting seems to be a little bit more, uh, well, it seems to be a slightly easier to break out of the drift in this game. Also, I've been behind these guys throughout this entire lap. I could probably actually, you know, pass them. Or I could just slam into them. That works, too. Except it doesn't. There we go. Finally got around them. Eh, damn it. Didn't turn in soon enough. Just trying to do that. Just swinging out wide. out Fuck. Ah. Hard to judge where the wall is there. Because it's kind of just, eh. Whatever. Let's just make it around this last turn. 
that is. I mean, this is the last turn. I'm going! And there we go, victory! Like that monitor. Don't give up! I did not give up! Although I drove like shit, but these are, these are the easy races, so yeah. That was a lovely drift. Alright. Well, game over, so that's two races down. One to go in this GP. So, with that, stay tuned for more. Ridge Racer 2, or right, Revolution, Ridge Racer Revolution, Ridge Racer 2 is the arcade version.